These are all Lone Star ticks. It's tough to see in the Petri dish, but each has the female Lone Star's distinctive spot. It has a little yellowy white dot. And the yellow on this map shows where the Lone Star tick is now found in the U.S., the area that's at risk for a tick-related meat allergy. There's this syndrome that's fairly newly recognized. It's called alpha-gal syndrome. Mayo Clinic parasites expert Dr. Bobby Pritt explains how it's transmitted. The tick is thought to inject something into the person. One of those substances causes our body to form antibodies to this alpha-gal sugar. The result can be an allergic reaction to meat. Symptoms occur several hours after eating the meat and can include itching, hives, swelling of the lips, mouth, and airway, even anaphylactic shock. I would emphasize it is relatively rare, although we are definitely getting reports of more cases. Protect yourself, tuck your pants into your socks, wear repellent, and stay out of tall brush. Most importantly, when you come in from outdoors, check yourself, check your kids, check your pets for ticks, and remove them right away. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Jeff Olson.